Burn. Burn, get down. Burn, get down. Get, burn. Good morning, guys. Courtney's still asleep, but I'm gonna get started on some coffee. One thing about living in a truck camper is that requests for coffee in bed aren't even that unreasonable. Because when she's up in bed, she's kind of out of my way. So, <laughs> our morning routine, Gordon gets coffee in bed, snows with the dogs. in California picking up some tools and uh, it's time to head back to Idaho. So we thought we'd give you guys a little bit of like a day in the life of what it's like for us to travel in our truck camper. Hope you enjoy it. One of the best parts of traveling with our home on wheels is that we can make a bathroom stop anywhere we want. This is just a random exit on the side of the highway. Bathroom break, breakfast break, let's go. Stop number two, fuel. Try to make a habit of always checking the hubs on these trailers. We've only owned this trailer for a couple of days, so I'm still a little skeptical of it. Yes, I really do use our bathroom always, even when there's a bathroom right there. Because this one's clean. Grab a snack while we're in there. It's like it's goldfish that are half cheddar, half pretzels. I love pretzels. Courtney doesn't. Let's we'll see what her reaction is. Snack. Oh, it's like you and me in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> this is me. This one too. I don't like pretzels. I think they're gross. <laughs> now she gets to pick through and pick the cheat the the goldfish out for her and the pretzels out for me. but when you're leaving California, there's a stop you have to make for lunch. 
<laughs> Almost just got run over walking across the parking lot. Everyone's stretching their legs. It's 103 here in Redding. Oh. The dogs don't really want to be out here. Oh. Here, wait. This planter's better. They, they don't like this music. Pro tip, add french fries to the burger. We're back on the road and we only have... <laughs> Five more hours! <laughs> <laughs> it is a long trek from Central California up to Central Oregon, but we like to use Bend as our midway point. Because Bend is awesome, and also we have some friends that live there that we always love to visit, so. It sounds like tonight, if we're lucky enough to get there early, we might be camping in the Mount Bachelor parking lot with some friends up there. If you're on an RV with a cassette toilet, you probably know what we're about to do because we found a rest stop. That's my turn. Riley's the best, and I'm gonna stay here with you guys, and uh, you can guess what he's doing. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Quite a few of you have asked, and we absolutely love our cassette toilet, and would totally do one in the next camper build. It's just super convenient because there are so many places that we can easily dump it. It's so much more convenient than having to stop and look for an RV dump and pay and wait in line. And for just the two of us, it, it's probably every three days that we empty it. And emptying it is really no big deal. I mean, we just find convenient spots like rest stops and pit toilets and take care of it. We made it to Oregon. Three hours to go. We smelled coolant and we pulled over to check on things, but so far, nothing seems awry. Our coolant levels are normal, so it's, I don't think it's our coolant. And now that we're pulled over, I don't smell anything. Just taking a quick lap around, checking things out. Head into the grocery store. Successful grocery run, and I think now we're gonna do a little parking lot dinner before we drive to our campsite. So after door shopping, we always take everything out. We get as, we get rid of as much of the packaging as we can and we throw it away while we're still in the grocery store parking lot. That really helps us later on to uh, keep from having so much trash to deal with. Courtney's gonna use the Instant Pot tonight, so hopefully it doesn't explode. Now we're gonna keep driving. We'll have dinner in 12, 30 minutes.
made it to Mount Bachelor. In case you're wondering how the Instant Pot makes it here, it rides in the sink. If you guys couldn't tell, I like food. I'm very excited for dinner. I like food too. It has an appropriate amount of chicken, which is more chicken than rice. Oh, we're good. How is it? Needs cheese, sour cream. These silicone bowls are awesome. They don't rattle when they're up in the cabinets. They're easy to clean and my spoon doesn't clank against it, the side while I eat. Living in a small space together, you gotta <laughs> be a little more considerate of stuff like that when someone doesn't like that. <laughs> This was a version of Instant Pot Cooking with Riley called Instant Pot Cooking with Courtney. It's more successful, less, less messy, less dangerous. and way less fun. Clean up on aisle 12. When your electric toothbrush is batteries, done so. You just have a normal toothbrush. Okay. Well, thanks for tagging along with us today. I know this is a little different than what we normally do, but we are very excited to get back to Idaho and get back to work on the shop. Hope you guys enjoyed a little bit more of what it's like to live in this camper. And uh, we haven't killed each other yet. We're here in the Mount Bachelor parking lot, gonna do a quick ride tomorrow, and then we're on our way back north.